Yeah, this is a Slurpee machine that is out, uh, has an error. And today I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this barrel. This barrel here is not, is not working properly. Got to go into the um, service menu. Service menu. Machine settings. Machine readout. Manual. Go on to side two. Enter. Turn on the CO2. This way I'll get pressure out of here. This is a meter to read the syrup, the sugar content. So I just took a reading of the sugar content on this barrel, and um, it's very high. It's at a 20. It should be around 13 or 14. So I'm going to have to adjust that, and I adjust that by adjusting this screw right here. This one. Syrup, and this is water. This is to adjust the water. This is to adjust the syrup. This is my gauge that reads the CO2 pressure.
so I just took a sample reading out of here and that syrup content is good it's at it's at 14 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to empty this barrel I'm gonna empty this and then refill it from here refill this barrel and then uh, this barrel should be all fixed it should freeze down fine be right back Just turned on the beater motor. Now that'll push a little more of that syrup out. Get that shot. Shut that off. Make sure all the CO2 is out. As you can see, this is the nozzle, the nozzle. This is the face plate. This is a relief, a relief valve. Relieves pressure out of the tank. So now the tank is empty and now I'm gonna let it refill. So we'll go here and hit fill. Turn off the beater for now and let it fill. Now you can see it filling. See it filling? Take a little out, let it refill. Since there was some of the old syrup in there, and then I'm gonna take another reading. Once this fills up a little more, I'll take another reading. So that second reading I took was good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this vent valve. That lets the air out and allows the barrel to freeze it, to fill up. And then we'll let it freeze down and then we should be all set. I usually let it get right up to about here and then I will turn on the beater, the beater, and then it will finish filling up by itself automatically. So that's good. Now I'll turn the beater on. Beater is on. And then I'm gonna go back to my regular screen. Go out of there. One second, let me show you some uh, readouts that are on here. Go back to the service. Machine settings. Readouts. Press select. And now this is going to give me all of my readouts. Everything that this barrel is doing, it's going to let me know. So it lets me know the beater percentage, the tank pressure, the syrup pressure, which is good. 
the return temp and the inlet temp. So now I'm gonna leave it on inlet temp and then I'm gonna allow this to freeze down. It's ready to freeze down. So this is where we hit run. And then you'll start seeing the temperature on the inlet side go down and then that's letting me know that this is freezing down properly. you can see I have it in the run position uh, this barrel barrel number two it is on run freeze and you can see the temperature going down So now we're going to let this freeze down and then I'll come back and show you the uh, final temperature once it freezes. And then now you can see this barrel is freezing down now. I'm at um, between 30 and 31 degrees. Uh, once this finishes up it's going to probably get down to about 26, between 26 and 30 degrees and then um, It'll say run thaw on it, and that's letting you know uh, that it's ready. And then um, on the outside here, for the customers, it'll have a light. If that light is on, that means it's not ready. When that light goes off, like this one, that's for this barrel, that'll let you know that this barrel is ready. This light is on. So right now this barrel is not ready. This light is for this barrel, Coca-Cola, and um, I'm sorry, that's a orange, orange flavor. It's not ready. Um, this barrel is for this light, and that's indicating that this barrel is ready. So once this finishes up, it'll, it'll, this light will go out. This light right here will go out, and then that's letting you know it's ready to use. And that's it.